Right, so welcome to November 2014. Calculate the length of ML in SAT format. So they want ML. I've got the coordinates of M. In the previous problem, I solved LS 20 and 9. So distance formula, I would simply say 20 minus 5, all squared. 9 minus 4, all squared. So there, ML. By now you should know the formula. 20 minus 5 all squared plus 9 minus 4 all squared that gives me 15 squared 225 5 squared 25 square root 25 or if you want to simplify it 5 square root 10 yeah. next question determine the equation of circle passing through points k l and m in the form x minus p squared plus y minus q squared equal c squared so now we want the equation if we had a circle going to K, there through M, and there through L. Right? Now, remember, MK is a radius, ne? and SKL is a tangent, so there's a 90 degree angle formed in, in the top, right? Now, you should know, according to theorem 3B, uh, angle from the 90 degrees angle at the circumference is subtended by a diameter so ml would then be the diameter of this new circle do you follow because of that 90 degree angle so on ml that's the diameter if i find the center coordinates i find my center for this equation and at the same time i have to find the length of that radius all right so if we look there mk parallel to kl radius perpendicular to tangent so ml is a diameter as it subtends a right angle right so r is ml divided by 2 remember in the previous problem we solved the ml is 250 so square root 250 divided by 2 gives me 125 over 2 which is 7,91 so my radius 7,91 remember I'll have to square that get the center of the circle I find the midpoint of ml so there, 5 plus 20 by 2 gives me 12,5 and 4 plus 9 by 2 gives me 6,5. So my midpoint is 12,5 and 6,5 which is my center. So the equation of the circle then, x minus 12,5 squared plus y minus 6,5 squared equals there 7,91 squared which then gives me 62,5. Right, so hope you follow, hope you understand, all the best, God bless, bye.